Well, I put into the... The crew is getting ready for the first major task of today's spacewalk, which is the deployment of this uh, Arisat radio scoff satellite. This is an educational payload, and they will be deploying it uh, by hand off the back end of the uh, Russian segment toward the back of the way that the station is currently traveling. Uh, that deploy speed will be about uh, one meter per second. Now it is okay. And it's basically in a 30 degree window off the uh, back into the uh, lower side of the International Space Station. Uh, once they get that satellite deployed, that activity should take about 30 minutes or so. Radio satellite is attached to the EV ladder. I'm pulling 
radio escape onto myself. No, let it let it be here. It is on the red. Yes, I I've rotated it. It is on the tiller. Okay, Misha, I'm ready to turn on. Turn on. Yes. Power up. Three toggles. Activated. I can see three red and two green LEDs illuminated. Copy. And take picture. Yes, now the imagery. Activity. Sasha, take your turn. Well, you are hitting the antenna. It is the most important not to tear it off. Everything will go deep.
This is Mission Control at Houston. So, uh, as it appears, our deployment of this Arisat Radio Scoff satellite is uh, not going to take place as planned. What has happened is that there is some questions over the uh, configuration of the antennas on this satellite. It appeared that there was just a one. Uh, from the views that we saw, there should have been two uh, on this particular satellite. So, to ensure uh, that once that satellite is deployed, that it is in the proper configuration, the crew is going to return this back to the piers. Uh, docking compartment and the airlock. So uh, once again, the satellite deploy will not be taking place as planned. There was an issue with one of the antennas. Uh, it appeared that it was uh, not attached or something may have happened to it. Uh, there should have been two different antennas uh, on this particular educational satellite. There was only one in the views that they saw. So the management team here in Houston and also the Russian flight team decided to, instead of uh, taking a chance and deploying the satellite and, and it uh, not working as planned, to uh, go ahead and secure that uh, back near the pier's docking compartment for the time being. What's happening? The length of the tether is about one meter, so you need to see whether you will be able to drag the tether through the handrail and uh, attach it to the other handrail so that so that we get rid of the slack. Okay, the radio scaffold satellite is, to be honest with you, I would prefer to not to avoid having to move it back and forth so many times, especially because it's really difficult, so it makes no sense. I think it's better if it just floats around the way it is right now. Okay, understood. Sasha and Sergey, in a couple of minutes, we'll be LOS, but it will be a short break, about two minutes. Okay, we'll copy. Good.